And we're back guys, Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Watch the last video. I broke down why Igis Fiontek is so good. She's really raising the bar in women's tennis, with especially with this current generation of tennis players. Igis Fiontek takes the first set, and listen guys, 6-3 in the first set. The second set, she just comes out guns blazing. Now, she's winning nearly 80% of her first serves here in the second set. Won nearly 80% in the first set. She's serving a lot better now. Why, for, why the decline in service percentage April, May? I think it's coming back. I mean, she spent, what, 45 days off due to a rib injury. I think it was probably just healing and getting back to 100%, which if she's not 100%, she's definitely pretty close now. Now, Anna Blinkova, the, I mean, the prop was, was will, will she win more than five and a half games over or under? She won three in the first set. She won her first two service games of the second set. All she needs to do is get one more hold, and that will be a win. But in terms of winning the match, what is she doing wrong? Well, She's storming up a ton of double faults. Four double faults is too many. You can't give Igis Fiontek a free service game. She actually broke herself the last service game. And you can't give Igis Fiontek too many looks at second serves. Igis Fiontek is winning 57% of blink of a second serve. She's really stepping up. She's attacking it. And here in the second set, Blink of us starting to make too many errors. I do feel that, as you can see, she held the first two service games of the second set. She held the first two service games of the first set. I personally feel that the coaches, you have to come in facing Ego, knowing that if you win the coin toss, you can't return. Anna Blink of us not the strongest returner on tour. There's no reason she should be electing to return against the best returner in the game. And when we're talking about first serve win percentage, the best first serving win percentage on tour, Igis Fiontek, and you're facing someone with the highest break point opportunity win percentage on tour. It's just Iga does so many things well. I don't think you can set yourself up for failure when you're facing someone so good. Anna, Anna Blinkova wins 60 5% of her service games and 35% of her return games. So you, she literally has a 66% chance of failure on the return side of things. Facing the number one player in the world, that's got to increase by at least 20%. Why would you elect to return? You're already down one nothing. I don't think it's great strategy. I don't think it's great game planning. She at least has a 65%, nearly a 70% chance to hold her first service game. Therefore, she can be a little bit more aggressive. Now, take a look at the second set where Blinkova, she held her first two service games. She had Iga Fiontek. She was up, what, on Iga serve, it was love 15. At one point, it was 15-30. She has had breakpoint opportunities on Iga serve. If she's holding serve and serving first, she can be much more aggressive on the return side of things. And look, she can afford, if she's up 15-30, she can afford to get a little more aggressive, make a mistake, and really go for it. I mean, I just I just think the coaching needs to improve on, on, the, on this type of a professional level. You can't continue to set your players up for failure. You have to know if you win the coin toss. I've been saying this for hundreds of videos. You have to know if you win the coin toss against the best person in the world. You have to serve. You're not a great returner. Why are you electing? You're already down one nothing. It makes zero sense to me, guys. That's what the warm-up's for. That's what, you know, stretching, getting ready to play the match for. You're already loose. You should be able to hold serve. There's no reason to return. You you have, there's tons of game footage and film and match footage on ES Fiontech. We know what she wants to do. She wants to speed opponents up, hit short rally winners. She uses her amazing footwork to meet the ball at its peak. She has an amazing serve placement. It's accurate to one of four to six inches. Okay. We know what she, she, do, she uses a lot of topspin. Why do you want to return that? I, I don't get it. But nonetheless, Anna Blinkova, she's down here in the second set. She's now broken. And look, Jazda Polska. The Polish fans are here. Look, we're in bad Hamburg. I do think Iga ducked the smoke in Eastbourne, to be honest with you. 
because I think Coco probably would have got her first win on grass or even Pagola, any of those top grass players over there in East Burn. I think they would all beat Iga Swiatek. And listen, Anna, you don't have to bury your head, head in your towel. I mean, you're playing the best you can. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And it um, doesn't look like she's going to cover the five and a half. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned. More tennis coverage. Iga Swiatek, what is she doing? Writing affirmations? Yes, guys, affirmations do work. Get your notebook, get your pen, write them down. They do work. Look at Iga Swiatek.